it is finally October. And what happens in October? One of the best holidays of the year, Halloween. So I figured today I'm going to do a little bit of a Halloween theme. And I'm going to be showing you guys every single horror ink autograph you could get from 2024 Leaf Pop Century. Let's get into it. Starting off on the screen, I'm showing you guys a checklist from Beckett's website uh, for the specific horror ink autograph checklist. And if you are not familiar with Leaf Pop Century, it is a heavy parallel set. As you can see, there's just a shit ton of parallels for each autograph. You have Prismatic, you have Diagonal Shimmer, Kaleidoscope, Crystal, all of them have one-on-one -on -one gold autographs. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And then at the bottom, you see Mojo. Those are all one-on-ones, but they're not autographed. They're, I guess they're pre pre-production cards or press proof cards. I'm not sure what you specifically call them. I'll throw a picture on the screen so you can see it. But that's it for the checklist. Now, onto the actual signers for this set. There are 50, exactly 15 different signers here. And what I'm going to do is for each name, I'm just going to give you one of the major, if not their only major horror film that they played in, the character that they were, and then a picture of the card so you can see what it looks like. So starting off, we got Doug Bradley, who played Pinhead in the original Hellraiser films in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. I mean, Pinhead, iconic character. If you don't even have to watch the movies to know what who Pinhead is, you see a Pinhead, you know that's Pinhead. Come on, let's be real here. So that's it for Doug Bradley. Moving on, we got, actually got sisters here. I think they're twins. I'd assume they're twins, but we have Carrie Moore and Camilla Moore. They played, uh, yeah, sisters in Friday the 13th, the final chapter, Tina and Terry in that film. So that's it for those two. And then moving on, we got Eileen Dietz. She played in many movies, uh, many horror movies, I, I, I guess, but the most, the more notable ones that I recognize, she was in an exorcism film and she was also played a role in Halloween 2. So also if I'm missing any horror movies or whatever, let me know down below. So I probably missed a few, honestly. So moving on, we have Carmen Electra. I mean, if you grew up in the two, in the early 2000s, late 90s, I mean, she must have been a hot commodity. I, I didn't grow up in that time, but I mean... She wasn't in many horror movies, but she was in a scary movie and scary movie four as well. So pretty, pretty popular, I guess, spoofs, you can call them. So that's it for Carmen Electra. And then we have Teresa Tilly. She was in now from what my dad and uncle say, this was a massive film back then. The original Evil Dead. I've never seen it, but I have seen the, the one that came out recently, Evil Dead Rise. I think it's called Evil Dead Rise. But she was she played a a she played Shelly in original the original Evil Dead along with Evil Dead 2. So yeah, maybe I should watch that now. It kinda it is October. I mean, perfect time to watch a horror movie. So moving on, we have Linda Belair. I mean, as you can see from the card, iconic. Absolutely iconic. She played Regan McNeil in the Exorcist exorcist 2 and exorcist believer i mean personally i didn't grow up in the time but i know from what my dad says that was a truly scary movie back then growing up so <laughs> i'll take his word for that uh yeah <laughs> so that's linda blair moving on we got eric anderson who also played in friday the 13th the final chapter he played rob dyer in that film and he also sadly passed away this past year rest in peace to him Next on the list, we got Kimberly Beck, also played a role in Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Kind of got a theme going on here. So uh, She played Trish in that film. I think that's the last film on here, person on here that played in that movie. Yeah, that's the last one on here. So that's what, four of those people, four people on this list all played a role in Friday, uh, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. That's cool. Not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. If you're a fan of that movie, you can get all four of them. Beautiful. So moving on, we got David Arquette, arguably another pretty iconic character in the horror film industry you got he played dewey riley in the scream franchise he played in scream scream two three four and six six came out i believe a year or two ago i saw in theaters i don't know what specific i think it was 2023 uh yeah he he came back it was a comeback film that they made i don't know if they might make be making another one i'm not sure 
Uh, he might have died in that film, actually. <laughs> I think he was the one that died. <laughs> Sorry for the spoilers, but he was in all those films. Moving on, we got Linnea Quigley. And I took this quote specifically from Google. They said that she was the scream queen in low-budget horror films throughout the 80s and 90s. I pull, I, there's, I listed two movies here that kind of look familiar to me, but she had a role in The Return of the Living Dead as, long, as well as Night of the Living Dead. So, uh, yeah, those two look familiar. So, there they are. Moving on, we got John Dugan, who had a pretty sizable role in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre film in 1974. He played Grandpa Sawyer in that film. And I think I saw on Google that he was a 20-year-old at the time of filming that. And the character in the film, Grandpa Sawyer, was 113 years old. So, I mean, you're playing someone 100 years older than you. Pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. Three names left. We have Felicia Rose, who was also another scream queen, from what Google says. And she, I didn't recognize this movie, so maybe someone else has, but she played Angela Baker in the Sleepaway Camp film, along with Return to Sleepaway Camp and Sleepaway Camp 4. Maybe I should watch that film as well. I have no idea, but yeah, that's it for Felicia Rose. Next on the list, we got Betsy Baker, who also had a role in the original Evil Dead film. Her role was Linda. I don't know how, I think that was a pretty, pretty massive role in that film i want to say it is one of the one of the lead roles there and she also played eliza in the 2016 film lake erie uh that was on there on google as well so i threw that in there and last but not least we have probably the best name on this list in my opinion we have vera farmiga who played lorraine warren in the conjuring films I mean, that's got to be the best name on this list, right? I mean, everybody knows the Conjuring film. Conjuring, Conjuring 2, The Nun. I mean, they're just beautiful, beautiful films. And she was arguably the main role in all those movies. So, yeah, that is it. Oh, also, she also played, Thera also played Norma, Norma Louise Bates in, Norman, in Bates Motel, which is a popular TV show. I guess you call it horror show. So, that is it for the list of horror ink signers let me know down below if you guys have any of these or if you're a horror fan as well or if you didn't even know these existed and now you do maybe you're gonna pick them up let me know down below so oh also let me know your favorite horror movie so that is it thank you guys for watching stay tuned till next video bye